Hey everyone, Patrick here is Rap4. Hey, going to talk to you today about expansion chambers, how they work, and I'm going to show you how to install one on your Tipman A5. Now, to understand how expansion chambers work, you have to understand what's going on inside of your tank. Now, here I have a compressed air tank, and this has a gauge on the top. Now, when the air gets compressed into this tank, it simply compresses. There's nothing else to it. The molecules get closer together, uh, pressure increases, and you're able to use this gauge to see how full it is. On a CO2 tank, however, the CO2 actually turns into a liquid form, and that's why you can kind of hear it splashing around inside, and that's why to know how full a CO2 tank is, you have to weigh it, because uh, the liquid will be certain fill, it wouldn't necessarily get to the gauge to tell it what pressure it was under, uh, and that's why those work the way they do. Now, the reason why people say that compressed air is more accurate than CO2 is because it's consistent. Now, consistency translates over to accuracy. If your gun does the same thing every time, then you could align your sights to it going to that same place every time, and, and that would relate to your accuracy. However, with CO2, because it's a liquid form, it kind of splashes around in the tank while you're moving around and shooting. So it's going to be a little inconsistent as far as if, if it's splashed forward when you pull the trigger, more CO2 will come out versus if, the, if all the liquid's in the back of the tank and so on. So what an expansion chamber does is it takes the, the liquid CO2 and when it, instead of it delivering it directly to the bolt and behind the paintball, it actually makes it go through kind of a gauntlet of baffles that's gonna release that into a gas form before it gets to the internals of your marker. Now that's gonna increase uh, not only your accuracy, but just your consistency in general. You won't see necessarily a big poof of CO2 come out in one shot and then barely any of the other one, which would uh, translate to your accuracy, one going farther and one staying, staying closer. So uh, an expansion chamber is a really good purchase if you're running CO2. CO2 does have more shots per tank than compressed air, but um, it's a little less consistent, so that, uh, that expansion chamber is gonna help you out there and give you the consistency of compressed air while still being able to run CO2. Now I'm gonna take this A5 and install this RAS magazine. Uh, this one has an expansion chamber inside, so what I'm gonna do is start with the stock A5 and uh, just go over the steps for you. Okay, so here I have a standard A5. Now the first thing we're gonna need to do is remove this fake magazine. It has three screws to it. I've uh, taken those screw screws out ahead of time, so just save us some time there. So this is what you should be looking at when you start the installation. Now, what first thing we need to do is remove the old airline here. So first, take the ASA off the pistol grip. There's one screw. Take that out. This comes free. And unscrew it from the marker. Now next thing we're going to want to do is take the ASA off of this 45 degree angle uh, elbow here. Okay, so we're going to need this, so save that part. I'm going to set this off to the side, you won't be needing this anymore. Okay, now here is the expansion chamber magazine. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is loosen up the set screws here. There's three of them to be sure to uh, let the baffles out. Now, the easiest way to get the baffles out of this is to take the old ASA, screw it on a couple of threads, and then just pull it out. All right. Other than that, this comes lubricated, so it's kind of hard to get a grip on, so it's a little, little trick there. And you're gonna wanna take the baffles and screw them into the marker. Get as tight as you can, okay? Now we're gonna put the magazine on here should slide just right over. Okay, might need to move your uh, cyclone out of the way just a little bit, but it'll stay nice and snug. All right, now you're gonna use two screws to attach this. It's pretty easy to see which ones go where. The big one there, and the thin one there. Now I'm gonna speed up through this uh, tightening process for you. Okay, after that's on, go ahead and tighten up these set screws here. It's going to keep the baffles from coming loose while you're playing. Okay, good to go. So now depending on what, uh, what version you want to go with, there's two different ways you can have your air come into this expansion chamber. Either one, you can use a male adapter and have it connect directly to the back of it here. It's going to allow you to run a remote line directly to the back of this magazine. Or what you want to get is a six inch steel braided hose and a uh, 90 degree elbow here. And what you're gonna do is take the old ASA, 
attach it to this new elbow. All right, and take this steel braided hose and connect that to the back of the magazine. Okay, and now slip the ASA back into the pistol grip. And replace the screw. All right, and there you have it. Now you're gonna wanna use Loctite or some kind of thread locking uh, product on all of these connections here to make sure there's no leaks. But now your CO2 will come in through the back of the ASA, through this hose, into the expansion chamber, and as it negotiates the baffles inside of here, it's gonna turn it into gas form right away so that as it comes into your marker, you have a good consistent shot out the barrel. So that is the way expansion chambers work, and this is how to install an RAS magazine expansion chamber on your A5. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Now, if you have any ideas for future videos, just go to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash rap4usa, and shoot me a message. Say, hey, Patrick, I want to see a video on whatever it may be. Looking forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you out there.